Hi, it's me again, and it looks like Twitter has claimed another victim. Let's take a look at this story together and maybe have a bit of a chat about it. Journalist Emily Maitlis has been reprimanded by the BBC after she shared a post on social media which was clearly controversial, the broadcaster has said. Now, I like a bit of social media, I do, but I don't understand why anybody would use Twitter. It's too public. It's too public. And you say one thing and you're getting cancelled, aren't you? And there's uproar and it... It doesn't matter who you are, it can happen to anybody, it can happen to nobodies who just happen to write the wrong thing on Twitter. Their life is over. Why do people use Twitter? You shouldn't use Facebook either, but you, should, you know, Twitter is dangerous to your career, to everything. Just don't use it. A statement on the complaint section of the BBC's website criticised the Newsnight presenter's social media activity after she shared a post by fellow journalist Piers Morgan in February. Oh yeah, you should never share anything by Piers Morgan because you're just going to get grief. And I I just haven't got the time. But I used to love an internet argument. I did. I'd argue all day with people on the internet. But now I just, I just don't get involved anymore. The Twitter post said, If failing to quarantine properly is punishable by 10 years in prison, what is the punishment for failing to properly protect the country from a pandemic? Was that it? She got in trouble for retweeting that which, coming from Piers Morgan, is actually quite sensible. Do you think? Do you agree with that? The Executive Complaints Unit, or ECU, statement said, the retweeted material was clearly controversial, I think it was, implying sharp criticism of the government, and there was nothing in the surrounding context to make clear that Miss Maitlis was not endorsing it or to draw attention to alternative views. Yeah, you wouldn't want anyone from the BBC drawing attention to alternative media views or alternative news views. Toe the line. It added, Miss Maitlis deleted the retweet from her account within 10 minutes of its appearance, but in the absence of a public acknowledgement that it had been out of keeping with the BBC's editorial standards, this did not seem to the ECU sufficient to resolve the issue of complaint. BBC Director General Tim Davey warned staff over their use of social media when he took on the role at the broadcaster last year. He said staff sharing their opinions online could harm the broadcaster's reputation for impartiality, which he described as a number one priority amid accusations of bias from figures across the political spectrum. Uh, I just don't understand why you've got to use social media just to incite an argument. Have your own opinions, share it with your friends and your family. Just stop using social media. I, just, uh, I, I appreciate that I'm talking to you now on a social media platform, I get that. Morgan labelled the BBC statement as quite incredible, adding the post was not a partisan comment, it is a statement of fact. Yeah, I don't like Piers Morgan, I'll give him that. Why is the BBC so utterly spineless, he tweeted. Yeah, I don't understand it either, they've got no bottle, they're just towing the government line on everything, got no bottle at all. And that's why we all have a lot of hope for GB News that they won't tow the line and they're going to do their own thing. And the signs are looking all right at the minute. I don't know. Have you been watching GB News? Let me know in the comments below. A spokeswoman for the BBC. Normally it's spokesperson, isn't it? But that's only when it's a man. If it's spokesman, they change it to spokesperson. A spokeswoman gets to be spokeswoman still. She doesn't get changed. A spokeswoman for the BBC said, we note the ECU findings. Wow, quite a spokeswoman. The BBC said the complaint was lodged by a member of the public who thought Maitlis gave an impression of partiality in a controversial matter. Last year, the BBC ruled a monologue by Maitlis on Newsnight about the row over Dominic Cummings' trip to Durham breached impartiality rules. You know, sadly, I don't think you have to try very hard if you work for the BBC to breach their impartiality rules, do you? It's just too controlled. Let them be. Get rid of Lineker as well while you're there. Get him off Twitter and I'll get... I can't stand Lineker. I don't know why I've gone on to Lineker over there. So I just, he just winds me up. Anyway, what did you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it was all right for her to retweet that? It's a bloody retweet on something that was a, quite a fair point, do you think? We'll have a chat about it in the comments below. I will be watching them and I will be replying where I can. So leave your comments below and uh, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.